Hi, Carol here, and I want to just do a little video on mixed media. I'm going to do a canvas. This is a full-size watercolor sheet uh, from um, Strathmore Watercolor in the full size. Not sure of, um, you know, the largest Well, I guess it's not the largest one, but anyway, almost the space of your craft sheet. And then I took some of my dollar store washi tape because it's kind of like this vinyl. I kind of like it. And I, we're going to experiment because if you do a full sheet like this and you're wanting to use, you know, you have new product and you want to experiment with it, but you don't want to, um, you, you don't exactly know what it does and whatever. So I thought, let's do it together. So I thought, I had some of this Martha Stewart tape. Now, um, this tape is good for a lot of things. What I like about this, if you don't have stencils, and let's say you want to make a lattice uh, stencil, you just bring this tape over, and let's grab me some scissors here, and let's match the color <laughs> with the scissors, why don't we? And you know what? I went on Google Plus today, and Nell and Brenda and um, who else was there? There, sorry, Patty uh, commented. For the life of me, when I go on Google Plus and I look at your, uh, it says, you know, I have uh, comments. So then I go on it, but I don't know how to go on and thank you. So I did it right on my video. <laughs> so if you're looking, that's where I put it. I put it right on that video on Google+. Plus. I, I made my own comment, and it's to you, to thank you. I have a video going up for Stamp Nation uh, right now, and uh, Google+, Plus, wherever it goes, in cyberspace. So there we go. We have this, and then we can just, um, let's take it all the way up, don't we? You know, if you want to just make your own stencil, this is awesome. Um, it's time consuming, but it is awesome. And uh, I have all the, I have 29 minutes. I have 29 minutes to show you this. <laughs> so there you go. No pun intended. And I was practicing earlier. And uh, I had to go out, so when I got home, I wanted to do this video uh, for my deaf friends and my friends over on Stamp Nation. So I thought, oh, I want to do this video. I better change. I don't want my go-to-town clothes get all messed up. So if you see that video, I don't dress like that to, uh, to craft. <laughs> no. I dress like you know, a little more dressed up if I go to town because I'm like, you know, people don't want to go out and see somebody that's uh, looks like they've been in a war zone when they go outside, right? You might see some. Whenever I don't dress up, that's when I see somebody I, um, I know. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Okay, so uh, we did the lattice thing here. So uh, let's just grab, I have my Distress Stains. These are awesome. Let's try the gold. I bet you that looks nice. And what we're going to do here, we're just going to practice. We are going to do 29 minutes of practicing. And I couldn't wait to use my inks. So I thought what I would do with this one, because I know it comes out like this. I don't want to you know, have to clean the rest of the day when I spray it from a distance and it goes all over. So all you have to do is take a pouncer and pounce or a makeup sponge would be awesome and um, pounce it in here. And then I want to see what this looks like. Then you just dry it off. Here we are. take it off and see what we can do with that in that corner and do you know these uh, Tim Holtz round these applicators on the end wash in soap and water they come out 
They might have a little bit of the stain, but they will not transfer ink. So you can just grab all of them at the end of the day, put them in a bowl of soapy uh, palm olive detergent, and you're going to have wonderful, you don't have to keep buying them, they wash wonderfully. So that's your tidbit of the day. And let's just see what happens here. Okay, we'll go this way. Can we do this like this? I don't know. Let's give it a go. Oh, it hasn't dried all the way. That's okay. Let it dry. And that'll work out. It's practice day. Oh, where's my garbage there? Okay. I'm not going to stop here. Oh, no. Just because I was too impatient and grabbed it and it, you know, didn't go the way I liked. That mixed media, that's nothing. This is like awesome to go. Okay, I can work with that. Now, I'm trying to let that go. So, let's just let that dry on its own. So what I want to do is take this stencil. Okay, um, everybody's been asking about my texture paste that I make myself. This is one cup of talcum baby powder at the dollar store, eight tablespoons of white paint at the dollar store, and eight tablespoons of white glue at the dollar store. And this, uh, you can tell, I use it, and it's wonderful. So let me uh, just show you. I guess I could, um, I generally don't take this down, but the minute that I don't, something will happen. So let's just tape it down. Don't want it to tape there. Tape it there. And let's do an experiment here. I'll try and keep the tape on it. And um, eggs. Eggs. Wow, this is uh, good stuff. There we are. Okay, which doesn't matter because if you're, I have to lift it up right away because this is what I want to do. I want to take some broken china. I love broken china. And let's just hold on to it and give it some sprays. Just some little sprays in here. Okay, then Let's take a baby wipe and go across it with a baby wipe. Okay, like this. I just want a light, light, okay, like that. This will help in your cleaning process. I mean, look how much you have there. Wowsville. My hands. I like if I'm in the mood to craft, I don't mind <clears throat> getting messy. I generally don't do this, so I'm not going to... <clears throat> if I do mixed media, you don't have time to be taping things down. Maybe for a card, but but if you're preparing for a canvas, you, you don't want to be playing around with tape. So, um, let me just clean this off, and at the same time clean that off. There we are. Okay. And then later I'll clean my skirt off because I just dropped it on there. <laughs> See? You got it. There. Okay. I'm going to take the same one. Now, isn't that beautiful? Beauteous? Beauteous, I tell you. Okay. We can come in a bit. There we go. I'm working on this one. We're going to take my texture paste and we're going to come off the stencil. First, let's go on the stencil. We have to figure out where we had it, right there. So let's move it up so we can see the white, like that. And then let's take some of our, this is my texture paste, the one I made for next to nothing. And put a glob down there. Let's put a big glob. You can always put back. Okay, 
and then let's just put some up and around like this and from Dreamweaver I just ordered a mixed media palette that will help me with my stencils but for now I'm going to use my cake spreader see this cake spreader this is awesome for doing your stencils okay take it like this let's and instantly swipe now isn't that quicker than and then you can take some more of this fine quality texture paste and I think it is because I use it just because it didn't cost a lot of money doesn't mean it's not good okay? move that around and down here and then what's nice about this is we will get to to cut it up when it dries on your cards. You're just, it's like the jelly plate. You're just making the canvas. You're just doing the work here. I'm going to quickly just give it a little bit of drawing. want to dry under my stencil. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Then set this aside on a piece of paper towel and we will clean it up just enough so that we can use it again. Okay, so now take your heat tool. Now you can put this overnight on a book, in a book, right? and flatten it out. Just because we didn't tape it down just means that the project will get done later on. Now you have some texture and you have that beautiful broken china showing through. And then I'm going to take, I want it to be just a tad bit more vibrant. So let's take this uh, salty ocean and let's just spray I'm going to spray it first on this paper towel just to see how it's coming out awesome one two that's all they want then this is beautiful for the towel technique tile technique excuse me I want a little bit more here there we are dry it right into there just on those two sides then I might add a little bit of pickled raspberry. There we go. Then lightly, you can take your roll of paper and run it across like that. Isn't that beautiful? Not done yet. Oh no. Let, let's just... I mean, the texture is awesome. Let's dry it off a little bit. Now, I want to put an image of a cardinal on here. And I have it right here somewhere. Or we can do, um, let's do this one. This is a... Uh, Some type of flying thing. Let's see. Uh, what do you call these things? They're not butterflies, they're those. Let's turn it sideways like this. You can hold it down, and I'm going to texture paste this, okay, with our wonderful texture paste that we made. I made this on a video, and I want to have 
this one right there. And because we will cut it out, you know, we're not using this hole. This is going to be nice. Okay, why did I do that? I'm just going to go that. Then we can lift it off. Like so. And you have yourself a dragonfly. That's what it is. So now we have that. And let's do... Let's dry it up and then we will spray it. So we'll dry it up just a little bit. Like that. Then you're going to take your stencil again. Let's grab some baby wipes and kind of clean that up best we can. That's awesome. Set it over top and then off a bit. So you're just going to come off there a tad to give it. Let's do this again. Now let's just spray that up. So this one I think I will do in, I, I want to match my, hmm, let's try this gold. And get pretty close. Grab your paper towel, run it across just to pick up a little bit of the color and then lift it off. That's beautiful. There we go. Now, I like that, so let's move on to clean this off just a bit so let me go to get it. Kind of nice to have that. We'll come back to that. And if you want to just spray around it, you can. I want to take another type of um, let's see. I want to um Let's take this owl stencil, okay, grab our texture paste, that's all I'm going to do, I don't want to keep rubbing because I don't want to rub it underneath dead so I might do one more time you know so there okay remove it beautiful now we can just before it hardens I'm going to take some of the, this is what I'm doing I'm just wrapping it around the towel and turning the towel like this. Let's move me out here. There we are. And then it's not so dirty. You can set that aside for the soapy water. Take some of your paper towel off. And I want that to want to use that. Okay, so let's dry that up. Texture paste dries in no time too. It's really nice. It doesn't take forever. Okay. Then I'm going to mix. I'm going to pounce some colors on here. Let me try some blue just to bring that out because I do have blue in there. So let's spray it.
Okay. Grab your paper towel. There we are. Then I might grab some. Silver. Let's really shake this. This is Brush Peter. That's going to be a nice background. Then if you want to paint it, like if you want to paint the outside image, you can. But I like that just like that. That soft pewter is beautiful. Uh, what can we put down in here? I might just... Yes, I know my phone is ringing. Mm, I think I like this just the way it is. I'm going to put that on the card. So let's try cutting this out. And see how it looks just to put on a mixed media piece. It's something how everything, even in our kitchen, can work in with your stencils. This is wonderful. And if you look up Dreamweavers, it has uh, it. It's like a. Um, it's made of steel, and it helps you spread your, but I thought, boy, this is, even though I ordered it, I thought, this is great. Just one of these. Okay, so let's just take this up for a moment. Leave the tape on it, because I'm just removing it. Put it on my cutting board. There we are. Lay it down, and I'm going to cut this off. So I guess I could use a ruler to make the edge look nicer. Let's use the steel end. I'm going to use it this way so I don't wreck my work I just did. Okay, so. this okay I'm gonna have to press down on this one a little bit hmm. okay. and I'm gonna come in a little bit <laughs> talk about coming off Wow, hold that ruler down, Carol. Let's come in there and hold that down. I do want it reasonably straight. That's better. There you go. So let's take out our little mat piece. Oh, this didn't come up. And this has to dry just a tad, of course. And it depends what papers you put behind it, or if you're putting it on a mat. This would be awesome. There we have it. I want you to see this close up. We have the background of that beautiful owl back there. Isn't that pretty? And you used your texture paste and you've got the uh, raised image of the owl. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to use this on a card. If you want to just cut it off like this and use the owl, it'd be nice. But I kind of like that dragonfly up there. And uh, I'm going to move on and let's try doing another stencil with our sprays. I don't know how much time we have here, but we will use it up. 
let's just bring this onto the clean surface here and let's grab another stencil. Um, let's do a hummingbird. I will put them sideways like this where I can fit them in and let's use the pickled raspberry whoa don't move it and the broken china again and the mustard seed and Tattered rose. And a little bit of the gold. And I want to take some of that gold out. That, that's not my favorite. Let's hold this on. Just take a little bit off. Not for this bird. It, it just kind of... Um, Let's use some hmm, seedless preserves. That's yummy. Okay. And I'm just reaching the marmalade, spice marmalade. Uh, I'm going to move it over just a tad. There. Oh, kind of slid back. Let me take my roll and there we are. So let's take this off. And what I would do with this, I'd use a die. That is so pretty. Really pretty. Okay, we can soften it up. Just grab a baby wipe for your... I got these dies at Michael's. There's four of them. I showed them on a haul. And you can just pat it. And then I want to use some iced spruce for the center. There we go. Take a roll. Let that dry. How much time? Just a minute. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's evergreen bow. Let's try a little bit of that from far up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a little bit of texture paste on there. Let's get it back and move it down like so just on the edges just on the little edges of turn it around up the wings to have some texture 